Hey guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars. I'm back here in the back room. I thought you might want to join me. I'm doing a couple of small little repairs today, so come on back here with me. If you're interested, here we go. Okay, so this first one that I have is a very beautiful, this thing is a great guitar. It's a Schecter. And um, this guitar had the DiMarzio strap locks on there. And so um, I took those off and I'm just going to put some uh, regular um, strap buttons on this one. So this guitar got traded in. And the guy that traded it in, he wanted to keep his strap, his, uh, it's those DiMarzio strap buttons, right? And so I'm just going to, so I let him keep those. And I'm just going to replace them with these ones right here. And I got the little felts that go underneath there. The key to this is don't scratch the guitar. That's the important thing. So this sector, it is in my store and it's for sale. Let's move on to the next one. That was quick. Okay, this next one that we just set up on the bench. This is a Fuji Gen. The Neo Classic Les Paul. And it's got all chrome hardware and everything on it. Except down here, for some reason, it has a black piece holding the pick guard on so let's see if we can put a chrome one on here yeah this guitar made by Fuji Gen and this guitar is it's heavy well luckily this piece is chromed right here this screw but I don't know how this thing ended up with a black one on there it almost looks better with it off, right? They're a little bit different, but they're very similar in size. So I think it should work. But I'm going to look for a screw right here that's going to be chrome. There's a lot of guys and they just really are into these guitars right now. Fujigen made this one. And they're a huge factory over in Japan and they make some really good stuff and this one is like to me it looks like it's close to like a copy of a 1959 definitely has got a really nice maple top on it and oh for, there's another and people somebody uh, took all the chrome and they went black with it so I've slowly been putting it back together with all chrome hardware and I haven't had to go out and buy any of the hardware or anything like that um, here at the shop if you wait it out long enough eventually all the parts you need they will just start showing up in, you know because I do trade-ins and I always talk guys into, you know, selling me parts and doing everything that we can do just to have a lot of parts around. And I don't very often go on, you know, sites like All Parts or different places like that and, and buy stuff. I sort of the, am the kind of guy that waits it out until something nice comes in. But as you guys can see right here, the tip on the three-way toggle is black. Yeah, so here 
This is a 1988 Fender Strat. And you know, I just walk around the shop and I look for things that need done. This thing, it's been refinished, but it's just got a lot of fingerprints on it. It's an interesting guitar. It's kind of a weird color, but uh, it's from 1988. It's got a really nice set of pickups in it. And uh, it's 1988 vintage. Some guys would say, yes, it is. Kind of thinking vintage is probably 1970s, but yeah, we're getting close to the 1980s being vintage. I guess I could say this is a vintage guitar. But after a while, you have to just bring them into the back, shine them up a little, and make sure that they're tuned up. This one's cool because when it got refinished, uh, he left the back plate off of there and he sprayed it all nice and, and the springs are black. So that looks pretty cool. But you just bring them in the back and you tune them and then they go right back out front for everybody to play. <laughs> Yes, 1988 is vintage. Mm -hmm.